for me there's there's nothing I can do to you. That's for sure. Whoa. Draining power from Oh damn, I feel my whole body being 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 what? In this ghost investigation, we visit Bukit Chandu and the adjacent Ken Ridge Park. It is rumored that ghost soldiers haunt these two locations. On the 14th of February 1942, a fierce battle between the Malay Regiment and Japanese Army took place on Bukit Chandu. Widely known as the Battle of Pasir Panjang, many soldiers lost their lives, including national hero Lieutenant Anand Saidi. Could the ghost of Lieutenant Anand be haunting these locations? Or perhaps it could be one of the many fallen soldiers. Bukit Chandu is such a special and historic location this is where one of the fiercest battles of Singapore took place. Now, tonight I'm going to try to communicate with some ghost soldiers. And the first that I'm going to try to, to reach out to is Lieutenant Anand Bin Saidi. I don't know how that's going to go, but I'm going to try my best. Our paranormal adventure starts now. I'm at this location where I'm presuming, right, because I was told that this is where the battle happened, we're just at the top of the hill. So many bad things happened here. I can't even begin to imagine the amount of, of sadness, the amount of anger, the anxiety, the stress that everybody went through that day. But it wasn't a very fair fight because you guys were outnumbered. You get you had what a thousand plus soldiers with you, right? The Malay regiment versus close to fourteen thousand. Japanese soldiers. Wow. Lieutenant Anand Bin Saidi, I want you to know that I personally think of you as a national hero. I feel that you should be on dollar bills. You pushed all your soldiers to the max, right? You told them that you're going to fight to the very end. You didn't surrender. Your, your soldiers didn't remove their uniforms when they were told to and then they hung you upside down on, on a tree right? most probably the tree isn't here anymore but maybe your your spirit is your energy is still here this is the start of our shoot start of the night strange things are happening you know uh, power from uh, one of our infrared lights new battery uh, power has gone we have a light here that's flickering. It's a very good start, I must say. But if you're one of the soldiers that, that died here, whether Japanese or you're from the Malay Regiment, could you please come closer? Give us a sign that you're here. Light just got brighter again. Let me turn on the trusty K2 meter. This is an EMF meter. If you're close by, then I would know because this baby is going to light up all the way, man. We are at another spot. And this time, you know, we're at a tree like this. Uh, I love trees like this, man. It's got so much character. There's one very nice one at, at Bukit Brown Cemetery. So we're here to try our luck. It's still very calm. Nothing much has happened. In fact, nothing at all. I think it's safe to say that this place is paranormal free. I think it's ghost free. So I'm going to move to another part of Carriage Park. Let's go. Want to try at the pond? No, let, let's go down to the the Prince Square and then. All right, let's go. Uh, boy, just say so a silhouette yeah, in in the corner. Yeah, the thing is, the battery drains very fast. It's a lot better. I don't know what it 
was that I saw, but I do know that I saw the silhouette of a person or of, of something, right? And it just moved. So if you are that silhouette that I saw, can you please come closer to me? Okay, so what I have here is the vertical EMF meter that's on my left, and I got the K2 meter here. Are you a soldier? Oh, I really can't see anything, man. I have no idea what happened here at the parade square. Honestly, I feel uneasy. Some people have claimed that they have heard marching at night right here. Now, I would love, I would love to hear marching right now. Are you a Japanese soldier? Are you Japanese? If you are, please come here and touch the meter or just come as close as, as possible to me. I can't harm you. I need you to know that. Are you from the Malay Regiment? Maybe you are British. Okay, did you die in battle here? You know, you. it could be you weren't in battle, but you had already surrendered, but they wanted intel from you, right? They, they were trying to get information about um, the plans of uh, your commanders. Yeah, so they wanted you to reveal information to them. You didn't want to give them anything. And then so they decided to beat you up and they killed you right here. Maybe you have unfinished business. But first of all, do you know that we are no longer in 1942? I heard a voice. It's no longer 1942. The year now is 2023. Do you know that? Yeah, it's 2023. The, the British surrendered shortly after you, you passed away. And then the Japanese occupied Singapore uh, for two years or so. And, and then after that, uh, a lot of stuff happened. Uh, nuclear bomb and uh, nuclear bombs uh, went off in Japan. And then the, the Japanese surrendered and then, yeah, the rest is history. So, anything at all here that wants to make contact? Because I, I don't know how long I can stay here, man. I'm being savaged by these mosquitoes. Being been on my face, my ear. Without conclusive paranormal evidence, I decided to end my EVP session at the Parade Square. My cameraman Aza had asked me repeatedly if we could visit the pond. So maybe his gut instinct is on to something. There's nothing now. There's nothing right? Yeah. This suddenly came gone. Probably someone came here to cleanse the place and then probably there's some stuff here but not a lot to disturb us. Okay. If there's an entity here, could you please say something? Are you a male or female? Please, been here for six hours, man. Over here. Fuck. Where? Over here, where? What do you want? Say something else. Sorry? Sorry for? Damn it, shields, bro. Yep, same. I got goosebumps. I'm stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck. Okay. Um, I don't know how to help you, but I know that this is your, this has been your home for God knows how long, right? Right. The chills, yo. What do you see? Right, right. The atmosphere suddenly changed, right? Yeah. Cheryl. Cheryl. I think this is the perfect time, boy. 
Hello, Cheryl. I have so many thoughts running through my head. So, Cheryl, you told me that you're over here. You mentioned bribe. Um, what else did it say? Stuck. You are stuck. I think I kind of understand what's happening, like you want to move on from here but you can't and I'm not sure exactly how you can, you can move on. So you have my, um, my empathy, that's for sure. I feel that you're close though. Can you come closer? Can you give us some other sign? Like, I know that you can say something into the microphones, you could um, touch one of the gadgets that we have here, you could um, make something fall like around us. Two guys sitting in front of me, they're one of the nicest people you can meet. There's there's nothing I can do to you, that's for sure. Whoa. You're draining power from Oh damn, I feel my whole body being being? Being what? Being zapped or something like that. Okay. Um Hello. Hi. Is there anything I can help you with? Just heard in the corner. Okay, which corner? On our left? My BPM is rising. Mm. I... Okay, it's still taking off. Hmm? It's still taking off. Yeah, oh. Just yeah. take as much as you want. Go. Okay, let me hold the camera. i show sure that we're not doing anything. Can you take over? Yeah, I'm taking over. So weak. Okay, take him. Okay, I didn't say you could take power from, uh, from one of us, and definitely not him. And that sound I asked you to give us a sign. That sound that you made in, in the water. It was like as though you huh. were splashing around. It didn't sound like fish. Sorry guys, I'm shivering man. It's okay. But in the corner. Right? Okay, in the corner. Which corner? I don't know where to look. Because there's these four corners here. figure this out but Asa was so determined to come to a pod and he made the right choice so now we are here to talk to you Cheryl I've asked you to show yourself you it's can, unknown yeah you are unknown you are the unknown Cheryl where are you in the corner again I I'm gonna walk to the four corners. I'm not 
just going to use the K2 meter, but my body to feel you. That was awesome, man. Yeah. I'm glad you did it. Bloody. Okay. Hammer. Probably use it as a weapon. Then you were all bloody. You may have been thrown into the pond. Maybe at the corner of, of the pond is where you were thrown into I wasn't feeling good and he felt like he's being zapped and then all this is happening right mm. yeah like I don't know how accurate the words are as well but when it said like over here and then after that the uh, the we heard the splashing in, in the water and then when he said uh in the corner yeah. yeah but that was awesome man I got super scared bro I know right now we're only using this one mic to record mine mine is, is not recording yet my personal mic mm. yeah. okay come here <laughs> we need to leave we cannot come we don't yeah. even know where you are you come here show yourself you gotta make a noise somewhere and then I, I will head towards you. Cause right now, right, I I don't know where the hell to go. Okay, follow me. Yeah. I might lose balance or what. Did you bring your phone? Cheryl, I would love to stay here and have a long conversation with you, but I feel exhausted. I feel like if I lie down right now, I can pass out. So I'm going to bid you farewell. We're going to leave this place. Maybe if I can, I'll come back another time, but you're going to stay here. You're not going to follow us. Okay? I hope you find peace, Cheryl. And I don't know what the last word that you you said means grandfather uh, maybe you miss your grandfather maybe maybe okay but we're gonna leave man it's just dropping I think we better get out of here yeah so mind yes. telling us what happened just now no. I mean you you know what happened at the hut and then, as we were walking up, it felt like we were being followed. At first it was for like a distance, and then it seemed to get closer and closer. To the point that, there was one point I thought like, something was behind me. I feel so drained, man. Now that's a paranormal adventure, right there. Arriba. <laughs>